guitars were originally made by the old American Epiphone brand. Now when uh, Gibson bought out the Epiphone company, a lot of the uh, people who made this guitar still stayed in Kalamazoo, Michigan where this was built and they came out using a name called Guild. 
and uh, there's a lot of good craftsmanship goes into them. Plus, they were less expensive than their equivalent part in Gibson. Now, whether they're as good or whether they're better or whether they're bad, that's a pretty subjective thing, and it's up to the person to decide that sort of thing. But I like this guitar real well. I, I've had it since uh, 1964. And uh, my wife used to call it Baby, said this is the house that Baby built. And I guess there is a certain amount of truth in that. Because uh, all my life, uh, except for a short time programming computers, I've had the good fortune to either make my living playing or teaching guitar. And uh, it's been really pleasant. I consider myself blessed because of this. And uh, probably a little bit better off than some people have to do and I'm thankful for it that's all I can say this is a tune that I usually play with my buddy Bill and sometimes I play it with another friend Ken Lomax and another guy named Danny uh, I really would rather instead of playing by myself I would rather much work with a bass player and hopefully a drummer too if the, if the situation works out that way but often it doesn't and uh, I guess it's just the, the way of the music business. This tune is called It Could Happen to You. It's usually played as a soft ballad, but I'm going to play it as an up tune. This is a little more the approach probably most jazz players would take with this. <laughs> 